So we're gonna start this video. We're gonna be playing Owen Turdenwald's deck from the uh, from the Grand Prix. So I need to fix the I don't need to fix the cardboard lie of that. Let me fix that. That is with my extensions. Uh, clear this. I'll put this up here. Should be up in a second. Yeah, so this is one of the two versions of the deck that plays um, that plays uh, this one's more focused on Goblin Electromancer being able to play a little bit of a longer game which just seems to be the evolution of the deck. The deck's moved further more to to being able to play a longer game. That's what people are playing. Uh, his hand is pretty solid so we'll keep it. So I've already tapped the events. We're gonna be able to pitch a Phoenix on two, which is always good. Looks like we're playing another mono red of the mirror. I'm not gonna play this yet because we can't do anything with it. <coughs> like next turn I can play it in lava coil or I guess play it in shock and electromancer. Tormund the Lord pitching an Arc Light Phoenix. Well, now we're going to do it in just chart. I wouldn't mind drawing two cards with this chart, but it's not good. Um, this deck has much more. This deck doesn't have a lot of. I guess it's still got red spells. We're not even going to have that big of a Drake. Okay, so they're the big version as well. So we are playing a legit mirror. So let's get in here with this. We might be able to return a Phoenix next turn. I didn't restart mode. We're sorry, restart mode, which is annoying. We have to do that. So next turn we can potentially crack our opponent for quite a bit of damage. So we can go like op, shock, shock. Or like, okay, we're gonna entrance and I'll read back that. Let's see what my top card is here. Radical idea. That doesn't mean I can return a phoenix this turn. So let's shock this. Play a tap land. Crack four. Eight and it'll be lethal next turn. So if they just play like a crackling drake to block, we can beat that and kill them because we'll just go like coil shock. Starting with an opt is pretty solid for us. <clears throat> Dark horse is also good. We can beat two phoenixes. Well, maybe we can't beat two phoenixes. Blink, okay. So we'll start with this before we figure out what we're going to do here. Yeah, now we're just going to lava coil this, crack. We got two points of reach. Plus a block, way to clear a blocker. God, I forgot to restart Moto when it's so laggy. Give it a whirl in between matches again. They're gonna dive down here, it's kind of annoying. But we get to play the Mirari Conjecture. If that's the case, so 
but looks like they're scooping it up. We're just getting the moto lag. Concede. Yep. Um, Mike's the one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It is. Okay. So I think in the mirror, you're supposed. I haven't done this version of the mirror, but I think you're supposed to go like this. Bring in your beacon bolt. I think you're supposed to cut your shots. It does. Yeah. Um, I think you want the shiv and fire, the lava coil, the row, and the nivs. Murmuring Mystics, like, okay. Probably want the melodies as well, because the game goes long. But maybe three melodies is too many. The Murmuring Mystic is sweet, but it gets destroyed. Like, it just, everything gets picked off by niv. Like, it's pretty much a liability if they have a niv miss it. I'm pretty down with these. I like the Electromancers over the shocks. <clears throat> Blink. I don't like the counter spells in the mirror. Oh, I have one extra card in my main deck somewhere. I think I'm gonna play a melody. Just play two. <clears throat> it's either a melody or a mystic. And being able to steal a crackling drake would be pretty sweet. And like if we can steal if they do leave their own electromancers in, we can steal one. That's also gonna be pretty solid. I don't know, like I don't know if we're supposed to play this card or not, but I guess I could have looked up Pascal Vieren's guy to see if he brought it in. Uh, actually, I think Owen Turtwell did it on Star City Games. Let me pull this up here. Get my premium on. Where are you going? Why you should play is it Drake's? Let's see if he's got a sideboard set up here. Okay, so mono blue is it Drake's? Wow, he doesn't sideboard that much. Cuts his blink. That makes sense. Yeah, he just brings in the removal and leaves in the electromancers. Huh. I think I'm going to keep this hand. We have a Niv, which is our best card in the matchup, and a Phoenix, and a good cantrip. Okay, so he leaves him in, which is good. It's good to know. It's probably a good way to run away with a game. <coughs> yep. All of our questions are being answered. I'm going to do this one because it lets us look at the most cards for a removal spell for this. We're going to opt before we chart a course, so we have the option to hit um, a lava coil. They're gonna get it. Looks like they're gonna get a Phoenix back. They're gonna get two Phoenix backs this turn. Gross. I'm so dead. They're just cracking me for eight damage. What does the melody do? Okay, yeah, we're just like dead. Okay, we learned. We are learning here. He doesn't even bring in the Shivan Fires. He's in two shots. Doesn't board in the... Um, doesn't board in the... Uh, whatever they are. The Entrance Melodies, but leaves one in. Doesn't board in the Rao. 
cuts the conjecture, cuts the shivin fires, keeps the electromancers. Then there's one card in here that I've got to cut the blink. Okay. Now we've got a little bit of help here figuring out what we're doing. <clears throat> Oh. Man, Moto is struggling. All right, I gotta ship this. Keep of the scry. Any land will do. That's not land. All right, we're playing magic. Opponent gets to opt. Okay, so now we need a red source pretty bad. All right, nice. We're just going to shock bears. We're probably going to flash back this radical idea. Actually, I'm just going to do the first one. Yield until next end step. All right, let's start here. This is going to give us the most books out of land. Neither of those are lands. Okay. So I don't really want to play my Electromancer until I can get a discount on it afterwards. So I think we're just going to opt here. They're going to play a Drake Murmuring Escape. Okay, so they bring in Murmuring. It's a good one to have, I think. I'm just going to do is try to hit land drops. God, we didn't hit a land drop. Murmuring Mystic might body me. We did get a beacon bolt though. Oh, and you stared. Did you steer me wrong? They just need a one mana cantrip and, they can, and a land, and they can bring back a phoenix. If they do that, we're in trouble. Or like a way to if they kill my electromancer, God. Man. And we're going to pray for a land next turn. We can play Nib, and then hopefully that stabilizes our board a little bit here. They just slam their own nib too. Man, are you kidding? Okay, no, nice. I was gonna say have a heart. They did just draw 47 cards though. <laughs> There's triple chart, of course. Quadruple chart, of course. Jeez. Oh, it's the wrong land. Oh, we can go here. I mean, we're still just dead. I had to draw a card there. I didn't see that. I forgot we needed triple red. Man, we are getting worked tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm going to restart Moto here while we're waiting for another match here. So I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight watching this epic destruction. Um, my name is Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Been streaming for them for a little over a year now. Um, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you want to uh, check me out on YouTube, all my streams are archived there. That's linked below. And if you want to check me out on Twitter, that is also linked below. I usually stream every Wednesday night and every Sunday morning, <clears throat> but that doesn't always. It usually works, but sometimes I do streams like tonight when I have the time. So, you should check those out. We're loading up here. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. I think it was it was obviously my fault because I believe I sideboarded poorly in game two. But we just didn't – we kind of hiccuped in game three. Like, we ran him over game one. And we just got uh, – ran over a little bit in game uh, – not ran over a little bit. We just got ran over in game three pretty, pretty convincingly. They brought in the Murmuring Mystic, which – the more I think about it, the better I think it is. Just because, like, the whole deck crumbles to Niv. So we might as well not even sideboard like Niv there because you just can't beat it when you see it. I think. I think it's the best way to go about doing that. <clears throat> so we should sideboard. And be afraid of the card because it's just gonna beat us no matter what we do. This one, this version of the deck has been recently like become more popular. But I definitely have not liked it as much as the one, the version without Electromancers. I still, still keep struggling with that. Okay, so planes. We're gonna lead off with this. So if we get the chance to shock something, we can. I think we're gonna get a chance to shock something. I think this matchup is pretty good, but the problem is, is like entrancing melody gets destroyed by uh, whatever the card is. Oh, they missed the land. We are not doing anything either. Like they get destroyed. Uh, yeah, we'll yield. We're gonna definitely hit that though. I think we're just going to do this and uh, yield through this turn and ditch one of these lands here. Okay. So if we hit a one mana spell, we can bring this Phoenix back. We didn't, but we can put another one in the graveyard next turn. We're just gonna keep killing these because, like, <clears throat> it's just a way to do it. Jeez. I think I'm just gonna jam this. Try to set something up next turn. Like, just start getting in the air. Okay, 
Ooh, this is a much bigger version of the deck than Alice Marshall. Just gonna make this difficult. All right. Turn target instant. So let's just get back the shock. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna look to trade our Arc Light Phoenix for something. And if they try to kill it, then we'll just shock it. So we can bring we'll likely be able to bring it back next. Well maybe we'll be able to bring it back. I'm not exactly sure. So we'll take a solid draw. We need to kill this. We need to get this uh <coughs> Banalish Marshall off of the battlefield though. Because their whole deck just works better. With a better battlefield presence. Just making everything like can't trade here. Baffling end. So that's gonna take out this. Is okay, we gotta back up. I'll let him attack here because so they're gonna flip it. We get to do like this. Now I'm gonna return. Probably chart a course. Ditch. Steam vents. Draw a card. Get two drakes back. And then we're going to serve in for six. <clears throat> and hopefully we hit some spells off of this conjecture. There's another Marshall. So I'll just trade again. So we end of your turn. OK. So one, two, I can just blink and play Crackling Drake, which I kind of like, but let's just do this first because we might hit like a shock or land on a tilt. And then I'm actually just going to hit uh, this Baffling End as well because it doesn't do anything. Like, oh, they scooped it up. Okay. I was going to say, I was actually going to hit the baffling end because they have nothing to use for it and it gives me a 3-3. Three, three. <coughs> so it's kind of a slow start and we still overpowered them, which is nice. So what does Owen do here? First Boros tokens, Golgari, on a red. Doesn't cover it. I think the Murmuring Mystics is probably good. Entrancing Melody is not good. Lava Coil is probably all right. I don't think Shock's very good. We're going to bring in this Shivan Fire, though. But I want ways to deal with big creatures. The Blink's decent because they might have uh, whatever the card is. Um... Uh, Ixalan's Binding. Conjecture is probably kind of slow. Like it's good that game, but I'm not sure it's gonna be good every game. Could bring in the star, but that's just gonna I think that's for Golgari. <coughs> probably just cut the row too. And just try to go fast. Don't try to play like a super long game with them. I think. I think that's a better way to do it. We're on the draw. We have a one lander 
into a chart. I think I'm going to keep this. If I put a mulligan, I probably should have mulled. Just didn't look on that. Nice. We're just looking for land or removal here. Adanto is annoying. Hit lands. Uh, we've already got a beacon bolt, so let's just make sure we get to where we're looking to go here. Hopefully this isn't another Adanto. Probably like ditch opt. I think I just radical idea. I'm just gonna run the murmuring mystic out because we can blink something if we need to. And we're gonna have to start like doing getting on the battlefield here. Like if they have a removal spell for it. We can blink the removal spell, cast chart of course, get a dude. It's just the best way to stabilize the board right now. Don't tribunal me. <clears throat> that thing's going to pop, which is really bad. I ditched all this removal because I was worried about. It's probably just like you bounce this. Might as well hit a land drop. All right, we have another one. Oh shoot, I clicked on it. Oh man, that was bad. Oh man, that probably that cooks us, I think. Cause like, there's a chance we could play one of those and like stabilize, but. Um, oh, can we go Beacon Bolt, Beacon Bolt? So we'll put this on the top. Block here. I guess we just chump, take three. They tribunal us again. <coughs> And then just bolt, bolt. Hope they don't have anything else. No, they have another Benalia. Oh, and they get to cut Tribunal. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Ooh, that lined up super good. Because the they gave them a dude and let them go. So I, I, maybe I was too aggressive, like trying to hit land drops and I ditched spot removal. I think I'm just going to keep it the same, though. We're on the play, so everything's going to be a little bit better for us. <clears throat> All right, I would like to play first. And I think I would like to mulligan. All right, hand's decent. Uh, I don't think we want this. Maybe we just want lands. Hit a land drop. Try to like work on the board. Looking for murmuring mystic or cracking drake. That's that's how we drew it up. <clears throat> okay, that thing's dead. 
that thing is dead. Leaves us a little bit open to a Banalish Marshal. I don't think I'm going to cast my Opt. So I'm pretty sure the best way for me to get these going is to just take the turn off here. Gonna pass. Not gonna cast my opt again. Because if they play a creature, we can go chart opt. Now let's go for this. So we're in the same position now. I think we can lead off with it on my turn now. Play history. So I can go like history opt link. I can like I can do a lot of I can do that'll do it. That's better. Let's go like this. I can actually just blink of an eye the token. <coughs> I don't even really want to do that now. This blink's actually pretty bad. There's another phoenix. Oh, we had a land. Let's get three of them back. Crack my opponent for nine. They're going to steal away one of them, okay? Oh, Micah, thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate you, my boy. Transcend Melody is good. No, it's not. Interesting Melody is not very good because of uh, whatever the card is that steals cards back, Tristani. <clears throat> so we can clear our opponent's board. We can actually go Radical Idea, Radical Idea, Shiv and Fire, get another one in play. If we, would, if, if we have that option. The Immortal Sun. Right, let's get our does Electroman do anything? I guess it does, let's do all the same stuff. So, um, hit this. I shouldn't have done that. I should have flashed this one back. Steam events doesn't let me do anything. Now I just lava coil this. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna play this tapped. Get another Phoenix back and crack in. Okay, they just don't have any outs to that. Alright. <clears throat> just don't play spell fears. I should I should update my my stream thing. Dude, the hardest part about playing this deck is going to be finding the cards for it. Because Star City Games doesn't have any, any of the cards for this deck. Like, I don't have any Arclight Phoenixes, and that's the only money card in the deck. Like, the deck's pretty easy to find. They, they don't have Arclight Phoenixes, and they don't have Nibs. So that's going to be annoying to find. Got my cards. Okay. 
I guess that so I was getting rid of that I knew that was them. We're gonna need them for many people. Alright, heater. What do we got on top? We got an electro dad on top. Alright, so we're gonna put that on. But we're gonna still gonna opt over it. Because we're gonna be able to go nuts with radical ideas with that electromancer. Whoa. What is going on here? Oh, sugar and spice and everything nice. All right. This is like the nut draw the deck has. Like, I like, I'm much, I'm a bigger version of like the red cantrip version. But when your Electromancer lives, man, your deck is sweet. Didn't live. It's like the Grixis Dragon deck that I streamed here a little while ago. So what does Electromancer do for me? If I get it into play, I can ditch a Phoenix at least, which is worth it. If they just don't have an answer for it, then we will go nuts. If they don't have an answer for it, I'm just going to untap. <clears throat> we all get phoenixes. It's a Nikki. Show me your Nikki. Okay. All right. Could kill Nick, Nick right now, but I think we're just going to go. We're just going to make, okay, so we're pretty close to getting back both of these creatures. In fact, we have draws that let us do it next turn. Maybe I should have held that. Probably should have held that for this next turn because I was ahead. I gotta kill Nick. Yeah, I should have held that radical idea. Because like if we hit a spell off of either the end next turn, then we can go nuts. Don't. We can't play Nib. Okay. Yeah. Hashtag value. <clears throat> Yeah, I should have held the front end of this. Well, now we get to do it. Also shouldn't have played my land. If we're gonna be 100% about the rim. I almost ditched that tormenting voice because tormenting voice is like so bad against control decks. So they just counter one end of it, and you just lose so many, so many cards, especially if they're sideboard. Nothing. Just looking to draw some cards here. All right. Don't nib me. Sure. What does that give me back? It gives me back opt. Hope this bad boy resolves. We're gonna ditch our sulfur falls here. This is my first league with a conjecture in the deck, to tell you the truth. It's like I think it's good, not great. We're gonna get a lava coil back next turn, more than likely. 
because that gives us the problem is they're gonna be able to get Nick back. No, they can't get Nick back. Okay, thank God. They could nick us. They'd be in so much trouble. We'd be in so much trouble. I actually don't feel like that far behind here. As long as we don't get nibbed. Like that's yeah, that's bad, but Okay. Let's start here. So on the bottom. <clears throat> Actually don't mind if my opponent counters this one. The land might be important, especially when we have double spell time. Got syncopated. We get both of our creatures back, though. I wanted to hold that to be able to, like, copy it. Like, hold my land to be able to pitch it next turn. <clears throat> some serious inevitability here, but if we run into some Braska's Contempt, we're going to be in trouble. Get that crackling boy. <coughs> yeah, they're gonna get my break. Which, ooh, and they took that. That's be that's a beating. Now this conjecture is gonna have to dig us out of a serious hole. What do they do with that? They put it in the bottom. It's Drake's a two turn clock. Drake's usually aren't as big as <laughs> in other graveyards as they are mine. You see that Ross Marion's modern Drake deck played this, which is pretty sweet. That's not what we needed. All right. Come on, Marari. Nice. Could be nicer. Nice thing is they have to counter both of these, which is sweet. But again, I'm going to hold that land in case I hit like a tormenting voice. <coughs> yeah. I saw Ross's deck. It's a good way to sidestep Leyline of the Void. Was this an expansion? No. Well, now you're in like just so much trouble. What do you get? You get an Electromancer? The Electromancer's good with a lot of mana, but both these Drakes are lethal. Both these Phoenixes are lethal. They just have a lot of inevitability. Yeah. You can definitely gut shot at some people out of the game. Alright. Wow. What a blowout. I think I'm going to hold this Phoenix. Try to see if I can set something up. I'm going to feel stupid if they like play a Nick here, but like they're just going to block it. Golden Alive is nice. It's an odd main deck card. So hopefully they just crack me here, flip Nick, and then are dead. But they're going to be able to draw a bunch of cards.
I'm going to assume that my opponent's good, and by them flipping Nick means they don't have an answer that's Phoenix. I guess I can reanimate my Phoenix. I always forget that they can do that. That would be the play. I think. I think the best play is to reanimate my Phoenix. Whew. Try to get him. We need to go opt into radical idea. How many radical ideas do we have left? Oh no. Yep, it's a good play. <clears throat> We're going to take a couple more draw steps here. Because it ain't easy coming back from Nick. Yep, you got it, man. Step one. Got me right counter. Yep. All right, we did. We're one hundred percent dead, but the odds against Nick are not are no bueno. Do we mulligan to six that game? I think so. Maybe we kept seven. Let's see. <coughs> Put a card on top. Okay, yeah. All right. So let me see here. Where is he? Let's go Owen Rowe in mono blue, Drake's, Boros, Golgari, Jess guys. So he cuts his shocks. We can't cut Lava Coil because of Nick. We are going to want Niv. Banefire, Melody. Uh, Blink's probably not great. Tormenting Voice, I'm not really in love with because I'm not really love playing Tormenting Voice against the counter spell deck. Four Lava Coils might be too many. Let's see if we have Beacon Bolt as well. So we really only have to hit one. I mean, Trancing Melody is probably not great. Or I can play Rao. Yeah, we might sideboard a little differently on the draw, like cut some of this heavier stuff. Yep. I don't really like Rao. Like when it's in my sideboard, I play it, but like I, I haven't I haven't put Rao in any decks that I've any of these decks that I've made. Flicking my shadow cards here as I Play standard. Three names is a lot. You see a lot of cards in this deck. I just don't think you need it. Alright, we'll keep this hand. We don't really want a mulligan against the Niv deck. Or Nick deck. It's nice that we can ditch this radical idea and still like turn a land into something. I'm actually just going to go Radical Idea into Electromancer Discovery next turn to Electromancer Preordain. Because it's, it's likely going to die. If they counterspell my Electromancer, they counterspell my Electromancer. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
<clears throat> I am not going to GP Portland. I'm sorry there, Andrew. I hope your test is going well. I was talking with Kevin a little bit about you guys are going to play Green Black Rock. I just had some medical payments for Phil. And those are those are bringing me down. You, he is okay. It's probably good of you. Taste it. Well, how good is playing this Phoenix? It's not super great. Though I want to draw two cards off of this chart. So I'm just going to play. I'm just going to jam this Phoenix. Should even say it is. Uh, Phil's got something going on where he's had a slight limp for his whole life. And we took him to the vet yesterday and got x-rays. And his x-rays were fine. But he might have a joint issue. And they want to do make sure there's not a joint infection. And that sucks. This is going to be nice. You don't play this turn. Probably because he has no music. Yeah, he's not he's not doing great. <clears throat> You're the first one to make mention of it tonight, Cody. Alright, we're gonna I'm gonna chart a course. God damn it. There's our land. Now we're just gonna play Niv. And hope we don't get Eldest Reborn out of this game. <coughs> Doom Whisperer. I should have charted a course there, I think, first. Maybe it's dumb of me to think I can ca I can't cast six spells and kill it, but I could hit I could do enough damage to hit a removal spell and kill this thing. Tori wants to get a dog. There's an Aussie Shepherd to shelter she's looking at. No, that's good. Dogs dogs are good. They can be they can be a load. Phil's a load for sure. Come on. Come on, find me a... I've got what? I've got two beacon bolts in and one lava coil and three lava coils. Five outer. Ooh. It's not even that good for me. I don't think I'm gonna cast it. Actually, no, I can kill my I can kill the Doom Whisperer here, because this is three cards. Nice. And then we can chart a course again. Oh my god. God. I'm gonna have to keep like a special die counter at the invitational. This is insane. There's killed Doom Whisperers and drew cards. This card is nuts. It's so much better in these decks than it is in the just in like the control decks, I think. <clears throat> yeah, Nibs. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Nib will do it to you. And they can't even surveil that aggressively because it's like they legitimately could die next turn. 
They put two cards in the graveyard. It's not even like Elders Reborn gets them out of it. Because I'm going to hit them for six here. And then I'm going to deal three more. They're going to be at a virtual three at the end of this turn. So I just scoop it up. All right. So I'm going to draw. I think I want one more answer to Nick. So let's look to cut something a little slow. It's probably a counter spell. I don't really ever like counter spells in this deck. Kind of just like playing velocity, like full velocity. Or if I do like counter spells, I like it when they're like spell pierce. Super cheap. I've been playing Iron Eyes, but it has been meh. I mean, you do get to nug them. It's pretty poor if you don't have an Electromancer in play. If you have an Electromancer in play, it's pretty sweet. We're going to have to ship this hand, unfortunately. Peter. Uh. Don't. Don't wreck me, Nick. Gogari. Yep, Wrath the board, Wrath Planeswalkers hit their land. <clears throat> Getting Thought Erasure. Okay. They probably take my Discovery Dispersal. At least that's what I think they'll take. Especially if they have an, an answer to this Electromancer. For the carny boy. No, they took that one. Hmm. Okay. It's odd. How are you doing tonight, Cody? We're going to need both these lands. This is going to be a long game. Just playing, just playing some magic. Living the dream. Oh well. Deal. The other thing's gonna eventually like grind me out, but if I can keep underneath it. <clears throat> when it's preordained, it's great. All right, we're just gonna jam this crackling Drake. Hope some good things happen. Hope it doesn't get countered. If it gets removal spell, then whatever. But like, let it resolve. And the disinformation campaign comes back. Oh. But then they likely have to. Um, tap low enough to where this crackling drink will resolve, and we'll ditch this Phoenix. A Doom Whisper here would be annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh. These black control decks don't feel like good matchups <coughs> at all. Or is it a big fan of campaign against the Jumpstart Arc right, Phoenix deck? Yeah. Jeez. Take me out to dinner. Okay. So they have one disinformation campaign. Um that seems intelligent. So I probably just play the Drake. I could play Electromancer, but like I don't really want to use my Charter Course until I have the opportunity to bring back multiple Phoenixes. And I think I'm either going to need A, more cards, or B, more mana to do that. So I think we're just going to play this. Though, man, that freaking Doom Whisperer is going to kick my teeth in. I mean, finally a Beacon Bolt. Doom Whisperer is a tough card to handle. <coughs> I do think these black control decks are 
pretty solid matchups. A, a pretty solid game against these Phoenix decks. I, I feel incredibly far behind, Cody. But, like, we can flip the switch. Probably is like a well timed Vraska's Contempt could get us pretty good here. Jeez, man. This is a card that I keep getting destroyed by playing these Phoenix decks because it usually comes with just enough disruption to make it so that I can't get a Phoenix in play to fight the Edict. So I could just double nug this, which I'm going to do that. <clears throat> oh, I can get my Phoenixes in play. Yes. They're just going to get back Crackling Drakes. I'm going to hurl. I'm going to have to deal with this Gym Whisperer. I'm going to do do this first and then chart a course after so that they may, they might like surveil with less knowledge that these are coming back or they might be able to assume it. Just didn't do it at all, geez. I'm gonna lose both cards due to the Eldest Reborn, unfortunately. You have eight power in play, but they're gonna have the brick wall going on. <clears throat> I this is the one deck that I've been getting pounded on the most on Moto are these black based Eldest Reborn decks. Like, they, they've just been getting me. I wonder if this deck is good. Uh, how do I win? I draw, like, Niv and then Hope. I don't know. We're probably dead, but... But yeah, I, I consistently get bodied by these things here. Take about one more draw step, move to the old, move to the next, the next match. Man, I'm getting work tonight. I won three in my first league with. Adrian Sullivan's Jess guy list. Then I think we're what? Two and two, one and two right now? One and two. It's not good. I think I, I really do not like this big build of this deck. Like I, I think that these Electromancers, the, these decks that are meant to play a longer game are just like not where you want to be. I think because all of these like these other Niv decks go over the top I think like I keep losing the Niv mirrors to the bigger Niv decks and these black control decks keep beating up on me <coughs> how's it going Archmage maybe I'm not playing it super Super on point, but I feel like oh my opponent's one and three. So they give me the scoop. Just got into the hometown. Nice, nice. Well, you're catching the end of the stream here. We have one more match. So my opponent's scooping us here. Hand was no good. 
go. I'll just submit. I don't gotta like it. I appreciate if this happens. Miles tweaking out. Oh, there's like one, three, five, seven, nine, dude. Moto can't even. I especially think I, I think that there's gonna be a lot of like really solid players that gravitate towards the aggress gravitate towards like a lot of good players that'll play that invitational that are gonna gravitate towards aggressive or not aggressive, like Niv and control decks, because like Teferi is just very good. And I think I want to play a version of this deck that just goes very far underneath them. I don't want to play dive downs. Because at 1-3, he can't cash, Cody. So if he beats me and goes 2-3, then neither of us get any money. And he just he's just giving me a little bit of equity. Though my computer is just tweaking out. There we go. Like, I want to work on this version of the deck a little bit. Like I started off on a real hot streak with this deck and then kind of moved away from it just to start to learn what else was in the format. We got our dive downs, tormenting voice. Three of these is too many, I remember. Maybe like one walk of those to come in. I want to go back to this. I think I also wanted a fourth crackling break. No, it was a maximized velocity. It was either a crackling drake or a maximized velocity just to have one. And I didn't, I didn't like this blink that much. Or these murmuring mystics in this version. I like the fiery cannonade. Let me just go back, fix this while I have my ideas going on here. Fiery. Because I just think this version of the deck is just, it just gets under everything. And, like, there are much more, like, meme -y looking cards. Like, you get, like, literally Sailor memes. And then you get, uh, <clears throat> um, and you get, like, Deep Freeze. But these are just, like, this card cleanly answers Adanto, Lyra, and Niv, which is kind of nuts. I want one more beacon bowl also. So let me just add a beacon bowl, even though it's one more card that can be had there. <clears throat> uh, I mean it was it was okay. Yeah, it's nice of him to do that, Cody. It was okay. Like <clears throat> it's just a Jun deck. Like it literally just plays the best cards all the way up on the curve. I need to find a removal spell, so let's start off here. Steamy boy. I need to kill that thing or I might lose. I also feel like against these decks, you're just even a dog. Because, like, you just don't kill them fast enough. Yeah, his deck's odd. Like, he's got a lot of weird one ofs but, like, I get what he's doing. Like, he's just, he's just, um, yeah, like, we're just, I'm just so off of this. I have to chump block next turn, more than likely have a chance. I can go radical idea, but that only gets me back. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a version, the other version would, would have like done super well right here. But take four, go to three. 
We have a four four in play next turn. I can't shock myself. I should have chunked here. I was stupid. Yeah. Yep, we're good. <coughs> we are lighting the tickets on fire tonight. So I think in this matchup, I want the Melodies, the Mystics. I might not want all of my removal, but Melodies probably aren't even that good because I don't think I should have Goblin Electromancer in my deck. But if I don't have Goblin Electromancer in my deck, my deck just doesn't function. These are slow. This is slow. These are solid. The Blink's not good. No. We're going to go like this. Because these are just too slow if I don't have an Electromancer alive. And if I have an Electromancer alive, I think I'm going to win regardless. Hmm. <sighs> I might start playing Death Shadow again and make sure I have enough tickets to play to try to figure out a standard deck. Man. Alright. Yeah, we've got a removal spell. If we got a way to kill, we got some cantrips here. You don't. You try to kill them before you try to like I don't know, you try to kill them before they come before it comes down. Like this version of the Phoenix deck, I think it's just I think it's just so bad. Cause like if your Electromancer dies, then you're just not doing anything. And look how clunky these radical ideas are without an Electromancer. Yeah, I'm not looking to play a long game, Cody. They have to clean up. They kept a one lander. Huh. Uh, what am I looking for here? I can cast an opt in the end of their turn. So yield through this turn. No, I can't even cast an opt. They should, I should have, I guess, doing it on the main phase. Yield until next end step. All right, that could set something up. But we're going to play the Murmuring Mystic. Here for show. <coughs> this is the one good part about this deck. This version of the deck has the Murmuring Mystics are very good. Yeah. Yeah, you're just never beating a frenzy. Like, I don't even like counter spells in this deck. Like it's you play some, but your whole deck's just velocity. Like you're just trying to like run through your rip through your whole deck and Continue putting these phoenixes in play. Ship this. Keep. It's not bad. We need lands. That's also pretty solid. We're going to keep that. Hopefully we can just bombard. Get out of the first two ways. Like, not die in the early game. And then I get something going on. All right, we're going to set something up where we can play that next turn for some productivity, but right now we're just going to... I uh, really need to hit a land drop next turn. Chain Whirler. God. 
happen. I need to get the most lux out of land. I guess I could just kill this chain warrior, keep my life total high. Son of a gun. Okay, put into your graveyard, put on top. So now we can do stuff. <coughs> Have you tried the version with Enigma and Necro Blasters? I like that one better. Yeah, I've played that one. I just had a, I was, I was just talking about it. I had a little spiel about it. I'm going to kill this. Um, I really want to shock this. It's going to save me damage. He's just going to peck away at me. All right, let's. We're going to need land drops if we're going to want to cast Return Some Phoenixes. All right, so now we're going to wait. Hopefully set something up. We can go Shiv and Fire into Charter Course. Uh, could I have done it that turn? Did I just punt? No, I didn't. One mana short. All right, so let's start off this. Pitch this. Find me some action. That's action. Turn it to Steam Vents. Jeez. So I've only got two cards. <coughs> and we're halfway through our deck and we've only seen one Phoenix. I guess we don't have. We, it's not like we have Crackling Dregs left in our deck. Lava Coil. Nice. Is a fanatical boy. I'm gonna kill this. I should kill it now before it untaps and can shoot me. We got what? We got one more Wormering Mystic. Should I kill this thing before it hits me? Sometimes they also bring in Banefire, so it's important to keep your life total high. weird like we both have just traded so many resources that the way that I've sideboarded has been kind of like invalidated I need a critter that counts <coughs> people have not have not be able to lava coil this phoenix all right lightning strike we can deal with so our added cards though. So we're both playing off the top. Alright, we're first to hit. Radical idea would be sweet. Alright, we hit Chain Boy. We can deal with that. Whew. That's a big draw. Um, I'm going to save that opt in case we need it to bring more phoenixes back. <coughs> We've got what? We've got one, two more shocks left in our deck. I'm going to just do this at the end of the turn. Because our Phoenix has lived. Yeah, it's not bad. Why did you just find a shot? Alright. 
I'm not gonna go any further. You can just play this boy. I should have let off with this to tell you the truth. All right, where's the bacon bolt? Our opponent's dead as a doorknob. I guess they can't. No, they can't even bane fire us. We block. We just have to make sure that we block. Dude, get send a message. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get back to the deck. I like I like the cut of his jib. I do not know what that means. Okay. Fill up our pity chest. Then I'm going to start loading up my YouTube videos and I'm going to bed. I guess we only burnt 12 tickets tonight, which it certainly could be worse. Harbinger? Nothing. All right. Let's go back here. Again, like I feel like this deck is fine, but it just doesn't... If the metagame moves to where like it's just Niv dot format, I think the Niv decks are just gonna go over the top of these Drake decks. They're gonna find ways to exile the Phoenixes. No, I only opened the pity chest, Cody. That costs money. That costs money. Um I feel like People can go over the top of this version of this deck, and I just don't think that you have like ways to defend your things to just kill them. Um, I do like I, I like this version of the deck much better. And I gotta work on it more. I, I I ran really hot with it. I went like twelve and three the first day I played it, and then moved away from it to just learn other decks. But I think this is where you want to be. It's much better than the mirror. It's just better in the mirror overall. Yeah. Are you talking about you played the this version of the deck or you played um I want a beacon bolt in the main deck before I forget here. I don't know if I want all four of these because they're not quite as good. Like you can cut the beacon bolt. You might not want all the lava coils right now. Because they're only they're like they're not super great in the mirror, especially if everybody's cutting their second guys. And then you can play one maximize velocity. And then just figure out one more whatever the cards are. Just find room. Invisible Yeah, I like the no electro version a lot better. But 